Okay. Um, I don't think I can get this off, or can I? I, I keep debating on what to do with this, and it, it really looks like this is going in the aquatic direction, so I'm going to just go with it and stop fighting it. <laughs> and so we're going to either make this an aquarium or an ocean or something like that. So I'm thinking this would be like a big boulder in the ocean or something. Um, but what I want to do first is cover this with this paper here. And then I'm going to bring in some white and tone it down and maybe make it sort of sit in here. And then put the string back on because it really goes well together. Uh, I've got a lot of this coloring in here, so I think I'm going to go with the dark. And see what happens. I can always paint it again. I want to leave the hole open. So let's just get this covered first. I don't know if I'm on camera, but I'm just putting this down. Sometimes you you think you're on camera, but you're really not. I don't know why that is. When I film this way, I have to flip the, um, what do you call it? I have to flip the video when I go to edit it. I have to flip it upside down. And so when I look up in the camera right now, I see everything the way it is. But when I flip it, it's, it's like this is further up. I don't know. It's hard to explain. So hopefully you're seeing everything that you need to see. All right. So that's on. I may have to dry this a minute. Probably just going to rip it instead of tear it so that it looks more jagged. So I'm going to um, come back in a second after I dry this and let you know what I've done, okay? So give me a moment. Okay, while you were away, which really means while I was away, I covered this tag with the paper that I told you I was going to cover it with and Mod Podged it and dried it and then I tore it off so it's kind of rough. And I went ahead and took my pit uh, markers, the Faber-Castell, and I went around the butterflies and little circles partially. I didn't go all the way around and I took some blue and I did the outlining here and that's all I did off camera. I just did it to get it done so that y'all wouldn't have to wait around because um, there was a lot of covering. And I'm going to take this same brush that I used earlier and I'm just going to flick it on this um, this tag. Um, I'm not sure which direction to go. I kind of want to go that way. So, yeah. Okay. I wonder if I should just go ahead and carry it across the page. I didn't plan to do that, but it's done now. I kind of like it. I think I want some more. Kind of gives it like a watery, currenty kind of look, like things are rushing by. Kind of like life, right? And it tones down the bottom a little bit. It's making the Faber Castells move a little bit. But not much because they're kind of they're kind of dry now. All right, we just did it down here. We didn't do it up top. 
Oh, I could. I won't. All right. Um, I'm cleaning that off a little bit because I don't like to leave those brushes sitting in the water too long because I don't want the fan to get distorted. So, get those out of the way so I can get to my napkin and my towel. To Mod Podge over this. These need to be a little shinier. All right. Now what? Still not thrilled with. Mm, still not sure. Still not sure what I want to do with that yet. All right. Just a shade. This is under the ocean. This could be like a something somebody dropped at sank to the bottom. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. All right, let's pull this through. Oops, I kind of messed that up. It wasn't that way before. Back on. And I have to think because this is not this is not where I want it to be yet. And I'm not sure where it needs to be, but it's not where I know I just know it's not there. So let me think about that for a minute and then I'll come back and we'll talk about it. Okay. Um I'm either going to cover this in white or a neon color. <laughs> no, that's crazy, right? I think the white is just making me, I don't know why. I just feel like I need to cover it in white, so that's what we're going to do. My brush is falling apart. Poor thing. I kind of like it. I wish this would come off all the way so I could just go ahead and paint this. Let's just go ahead and cover this in white. I told you some of the stuff that comes is uh, winds up not being seen. So, for example, oh, this is being crazy here. Hold on, I'll throw this one away. It's too. Um, it's not too gloppy enough. Um, like this paper, some of it. You see, but some of it, this you're not going to see. But it's there. Let's move this. in a little bit of this blue. I don't know why, it just, just sort of struck me right now to do that. So I'm doing it. I wish I knew why stuff like that happened. You know, who's telling you to do this? <laughs> I guess it's just your inner instincts. I think Bailey's going to snore for us now. Okay, so now, this is covered with some blue and some white, and I'm going to dry that, and then I'm going to come back, and I, I'm going to um, figure out what to do next, because you guessed it, right? I don't know. Let's use this. Okay. 
All right, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I've done a little bit off camera because I just didn't know what to do, and I started playing, and you know how that goes. So what I did was I covered this tag with white, and then I mixed some blue in, and then I dried it, and I took a calligraphy pen, the Elegant Writer, and I took the fine 2.0 millimeter tip, and I just wrote, let your heart swim. I'm going to Mod Podge over this. Um, and the rest of the page too, but right now I just want to get it on. And I've decided, I was going to put a, a heart in the middle here, but I decided there's too much of this going on, so I'm going to save this for something else. Um, and I'm not going to use these on here, but they were my inspiration for my colors, so I'll put this with the envelope, and I'm going to create something with the envelope with the leftovers. Um, what I am going to do is, and I, I took the tag um, string and I colored it and I still don't know if I'm going to use it. I haven't decided that either yet. Maybe I will. Maybe I should get it on there so I can see if I want to use it. And we're going to make the hearts, a little fish. I don't know if I'll add lips or eyes or anything like that to the fish. We're just going to angle them so that you know that they're fish. And basically when you see Let Your Heart Swim you're going to know that it was a fish, intended to be a fish. And um, I did go around the edge of this with my Distress Ink, the Walnut Stain. I'll probably go around the page, too. And I'll probably go around the hearts a little bit. I don't know. Maybe I'll, I'll have started, so I'll just do it. Um, I'm going to go around the hearts after we're done, too. But I really wanted that heart... How did I want these hearts? Like this. That, oh, like that. Ah, I don't remember how I had it now. I guess I could go back on the video and look, but I kind of want this one. And this kind of blends in with this, so and that's okay. Uh, I really am okay with that. Um, this one's supposed to go down here, so maybe we need to switch like that. And put this down here, and put this like that, like that. Mm. Hmm. Now I can't decide. There, I like that. Um, let's get these Mod Podge down. This I'm not going to Mod Podge down completely. I'm just going to stick it down with some tape and then Mod Podge these on, I think, because they're half on, half off. So I might do that. I like that better. Okay, let's just start with what we know, and we'll do the, um, the Mod Podge over here first, because I do want those on here. And the butterflies haven't been Mod Podged either, so they need to be Mod Podged. And we'll put that right there. And yes, the butterflies are kind of mixed in with the hearts in the ocean, or in the aquari aquarium, or wherever, whatever, and that's okay. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. And these are a little thicker. Oops, so they may not stick as well until I get a lot down, but I don't really care if they're flat, I just want them attached.
All right, let's get this one taped down. Actually, let's put the tape on and we'll Mod Podge it. Well, are you out already? No, can't be out. Maybe you are out. No, well, that one's out. Okay. That way. I would save those, but I don't feel like it today. Um, let's get this one. Come on, come on. Oh, oh, I saved this one. This one's empty. Okay. Well. I have to open a package to get another one of those, so you might as well use this tape. Okay, I just want it to stick down. My nails are breaking all over the place. Get that glue in there. Oh my goodness. I want to put pop dots behind it, but I don't want it to pop that much. So, we're not going to do that. And this is the very first time I've ever written with a calligraphy pen, so it's not the neatest I could probably do, but I like it well enough I'm going to use it. I like the calligraphy pens. It's not calligraphy, it's just using the calligraphy pen. So I'm going to stick that a little further down than I had planned. Where am I? Right there. And the Mod Podge underneath is still a little bit wet, so I hope these are not smeary. We'll see. Oh, they smear. <laughs> okay. I should have written it on top. All right. Well, that's a bomb. But you know what? I'm loving the color. Hmm. All right, we'll just we'll just uh, write over it again. And those can just flop if they want to. And let's dry this, and I'll come back. Okay, let's try again. I wrote it again, and I took it off because it didn't look right. So I took white paint, and I put a I just dabbed it on with my finger, and I dried it. It's still warm, actually. And um, I'm going to write again with the calligraphy pen, the same one, the 2.0 fine tipped, or F, I guess it's fine, that's what it means. Um, I'm going to write it on the white paint, which was going to give it more tooth, and it's going to be um, not slippery, and hopefully I don't mess that up. And this will be my third attempt at writing with a calligraphy pen. I've never written with one, so this is not going to be the most be-all and all beautiful script, but you know... It's just a journal. I'm just playing. And I've decided that my hearts are not going to be Mod Podged onto here because by the time I Mod Podge, it's going to be like this, crooked. And I don't like that. So I'm going to kind of stick it under there a little bit and Mod Podge it on under there like that. So this is left alone. And who knows what this is? This could be just uh, something bobbing in the water. It could be anything. I don't know. This doesn't even have to be water. It could be mountains. It could be anything you want it to be. But the saying is going to be let your heart swim. So that kind of gives you the indication that these are little fishy hearts. And I could put little eyeballs and lips and stuff, but I'm not going to. I'm going to leave them just like they are because I love these. I love these hearts. They're beautiful. So let's try this again. I'm going to leave it on camera. Um, I want some white splatters on here. So I'm wondering if I should do that first. Well, let's just go for it. I don't even know exactly. I know you're supposed to hold it at a 45 degree angle like this and you're not supposed to move anything but your whole arm. I read that much on the, um, what do you call it, the, the box. and But I don't know if you're supposed to do that or that. So I think like that. Let's try that. All right, let's do it again. See, my tendency is to want to do this, but we're going to do what they say. Or maybe I should just do that. That's more comfortable. 
because this means my pinky gets in the way. All right. Let's try again. Let. Or I should put my pinky out. Okay, that's good enough. We're going to spray that to seal it very gently from far away after this dries and see if it works. If not, then I don't know what to do. Just use a pen that's permanent, I guess. These evidently are not. I have not read to see if they are. Once they're dry, I kind of doubt it because they're mostly for writing. They're not for this kind of thing, I don't think. But you know how we are. We use stuff for everything. Nothing holding us back. Okay, now this... Uh, it's going to go here. So let's get that on. Are you on? Yeah, you're on. Okay. <laughs> I've been doing so much off camera today. I didn't know if maybe I forgot to turn the camera on. Slide it underneath there. Messy today, and that's okay. I haven't been messy in a while. Well, I was when I was pulling the pull apart, that's for sure. Okay, and then this one can go up here. Yeah. All right, now these are not completely down. And I'm not, I'm not worried about that. I'm actually okay with that. I kind of like it. Um, let's go ahead and let that dry so I can go around the hearts with a pen and outline them. And we'll let that dry some more and then I might using up the Mod Podge on my um, brush. I didn't touch the writing. I don't want to do that. That's evidently a no-no. Alright, let me dry this and I'll come back. One thing I did want to do, and I might as well do it while I'm drying, is put some white splatters on there. Um, let me use my... Where's the one? I've got some white mixed up with some water. And we'll use, I have a toothbrush somewhere that I wanted to use, but I don't know where that's at. So maybe we'll use the fan brush, except we'll use a smaller one. Or maybe we'll use this. I'll just do that. All right, let's try that. Just a dab on the mat. very watery, very, very fine, so it's not showing up real strong unless I do a lot more. So we'll do more. There. Let's do some on the bottom. Just a few in the middle, not too much in the middle, just mostly at the bottom and the top. I like that. Okay. And let me show you a close-up before I go dry it. That's what we have so far. That's just so out of my norm. I like it. I'll be back. All right, we're going to go, and I'm not going to use that in there today, so we're going to go in and outline the butterflies, not the butterflies, the hearts, 
I'm going to use the same brown I used to go around everything else. Um, this one is walnut brown. I'm just, I don't want to use black on here. Um, hopefully it's dry enough. I'm just going to smear is what we're going to do. I'm not really going to outline completely correctly. We're just going to smear the ink around it like that. That's kind of what I want to do. Gives it a little dimension, but not too much stark, plain drawing, which is what I don't want. I don't want a complete line. I want a smudge. Smooch. Smooch. What was the word earlier? Smooch. Smooch. No. I forgot. Smoosh. Smooch. Smooch. <laughs> I don't remember. And I'm not drawing a straight line. What I'm doing is doing little dashes and then smearing some. Dash, 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 dash. Smear. So that brings it more into light. So you compare this one, this one, and these three. You can see them better. I like that. you can't get to under the circle so we're not going to worry about that if anybody peeks well, they won't be able to peek okay that's as far as we're going to go if they peek then naughty naughty shame on them No peeking. Okay. All right. I'm loving that. The only thing is there's something wrong with this. There's something... I don't know. Maybe I need to sign it and that'll help it uh, look better. Let me think about it in a minute and I'll come back and tell you what I decide. Okay, I signed it, but I think what I'm going to do is bring in some black stays on and use one of my all-time favorites that I always revert to. Um, a little bit of stamping. Hopefully it's not a mistake. And then um, I'm going to bring the brown border around it. And... I think we'll be done. I am going to come into this a little bit. Let's see if that helps it. I think it does. Yes, that helps it. That helps that. All right, I think we're done with that. I think that's good, plenty. I really want to Mod Podge over that. I just want it to be shiny, but I don't know if I can. I may have to just um, deal with it the way it is. Okay, the last thing I want to do is bring the brown around it. And I guess I'll use Distress Ink to do that. Hopefully when it dries, it'll just stay there because I'm not going to Mod Podge over it. And if I did, it would smear anyway. The only place you can really see it real well is in the blue here, but I know it's there. It probably helps blend it some. You can see it in the spark blue too. Okay. 
I'm very happy with this, except for, except for, but I want a Mod Podge over that. But I don't think I better. I think I better just accept the fact that I can't. I'll spray it with a little bit of something. All right, I think we're done. Um, I'm happy with this. Let your heart swim. There's your finished page made out of Happy Mail sent from Vicki. Now I do need to put something on here so that I know it was from Vicki. Um, I'll put all right I gotta figure this out too hang on I'm not gonna do anything with the page to let me know it was from Vicki I'm going to do something with this envelope with the remainder of this stuff and I'm going to put it in the book somewhere maybe I'll tip it into the next page I don't know but then I will reference this page and, and so I know it's from her um, these are the only leftover pieces I didn't use I'm not going to put the tag and the ATC in here because I want to hang those. I like them. Um, so I might. I'm going to hang these up. I just don't think they, they belong. I think they belong somewhere else. Um, I might just make a little guide and stick it in here to keep it in this little pocket. And, and like this one, I know who it's from because I put the little note inside. This one, I'll put a note. I'll still keep a reference sheet. And I'll include everybody's name that I did Happy Mail projects with in a running sheet in here. That's what I'll probably do. I still have a few more things to use in here, but I will make something out of it. Probably I'll use the envelope and do something. I don't know yet. But for now, we're done, and I'm going to go and um, try to do some editing, get some of this up today, and then I will catch up with you guys again soon. Hope you have a great, a great little. Hope you are having a great week, and I'll see you later. Be creative, and I'll talk to you later. Bye bye. Last close up. Like I usually do. There we go. Last close up. And there's light coming down, but uh, I think you can get the idea. Very, very pretty. I think that's very pretty. It's colors I would never have chosen to put together. I love those hearts. Love them. <laughs> I love the um, 3D she did on them. The dimensional. And I am going to spray this so that it shines a little bit more. Just not now because I'm afraid. <laughs> so we'll see. Maybe later. All right. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.